Hello and welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be showing you this um, 8 channel CCTV indoor and outdoor uh, camera system with 800 TVL CCTV surveillance um, DVR security system for indoor and for outdoor weatherproof bullet cameras with all the cables it actually comes in three boxes so I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing on each of the boxes and then I'll try and do a setup at the end of it to give you an idea of how to set it up it's obviously going to be very difficult just purely because of the size but I will do my best this is currently 139 pounds 99 pence which is seems an absolute bargain for basically eight cameras and the DVR you don't get a hard drive with it so you will have to buy a hard drive it takes SATA drives up to uh, 3 terabyte from free 500 gigabyte to 3 terabyte I have a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte um, hard drive I'm going to fit in you can buy Pacific ones for um, CCTV cameras the purple drives and other drives as well um, if you decided that you wanted to fit one of those in you could do that um, as well so let's undo the first box and have a look inside this I believe is the outdoor cameras but I'll find out shortly Nope, it's the indoor cameras. Okay, so you get some stickers by the look of it. So you get some nice stickers to stick outside to give people plenty of warning. Here are the cameras themselves, so they've got their own fixings. These are the indoor ones. They're obviously all the same, you get four of these, four power supplies, and four um, leads, extension leads. Power supply there. Oh, it's got a splitter on it, so you get one power supply with a four splitter, which is really handy because it saves you having to take up so many plugs. So I'll give you a quick look at this. It's a plastic body so you can see indoors you can move it about spin it around to get it exactly how you want it to so it's quite handy Put the screws in there and twist around so that's the indoor cameras they've got infrared there as well so they will see at night it's got a little arrow there to point up so you know which is the top and which is the bottom which is very handy so I'll put that back in for the moment and get the other box out just put this back in That was the indoor cameras. These should be the outdoor bullet cameras. stickers here, these ones are a bit crumpled up. So in this one, a little user manual there. Inside here I'm assuming is the power, yep, power. This also has a splitter, so it's really handy. So basically for the for the whole lot, you're only going to need three power plugs. One for the indoor cameras, one for the outdoor cameras, and one for the unit itself. There's the plug socket, and the extension leads are all in there, so that's really nice. So if you're going to have nine power points, you've only got to have three. Let's just take one of these out so you can have a quick look at it. So these are 
these are metal nice compact size we've got a fixing on the bottom as well as on the back so you can screw it in and have them like so or you can have them like so so that's the outdoor cameras BNC connector and then the power so there's only two wires on them pretty straightforward and obviously the extension leads have just basically one wire which splits into two that wire then splits into two but I'll be showing you that later so stick this back in the box cameras first and then we've got the actual unit itself video inputs, uh, video out, AV out, HDMI out and a VGA out so you've got plenty of options uh, for video outs you've also got audio in, four audio ins, you've got your network connector you've got two USBs, one for a mouse, one for a external hard drive or something uh, RS485 so if you've got a camera that does pan and tilt in you can connect that up to that and use this box to control it and then you've got the power there so let's have a look inside here so we've got a plug some screws a mouse and a remote control The old remote control, Let's just get some batteries for that. I'll we'll have to get some batteries for that in a minute. Can't find any, and I know I've got some laying about, but you've got the mouse anyway to um, use it. So you've got a adapter there for the dome camera. If you've got a dome PTZ camera, and they look like they're the hard drive screws, and inside here. disk which must have the software on it and a thing to download the app and some instructions to help you set it up to try so let's get this hard drive installed so at least I can get cracking on with it so we're gonna need a Phillips Screwdriver, this one there. Oh, this one. And that comes off. So then we've got the leads here to connect up with the hard drive, so I'll just undo those, get my hard drive, that connects here, and then it go in one way, that way, looks like you might even be able to have two hard drives in here, and then this one goes in that way.
Just unplug that to give me a little bit more room. four screws at the bottom that's back in and stick the back on and next part you'll be seeing is me connecting the cameras up to it I've put it onto here and I'm recording the screen so you can see that um, and you can see what I can see so we've got system set up to start with so we've got PAL camera type um, Time time get to UK time zero. Okay. Time Time is correct. So we've got a general VJ resolution channel number PPOE the alarm system device. So I'm going to format that hard drive. It's a two terabyte hard drive, so it should get me plenty of um, recording files on there. There you go. So that's formatted. That's the monitor. Got a PTZ. It's a storage. It's in PAL. Camera types, transparency, We've got a wizard for setting up here. So let me just grab my iPhone, see if I can get the software from that picture. There we go, open that up. Okay, so need to register so just put my email in there so it's saying input manually sound configuration wave configuration it's what got input manually go to the net device okay so click continue Add, save. Okay, so that's saying that's successfully done. So now I'm on there, connect to all, and it's that easy. Look at that, I've got all eight cameras showing up. Oh, that's my bad. I'll just hit the button on there. Okay, I think that's the one. So let's get back out of this, cancel that, close it down. So that's now showing you a picture of all of the different cameras on the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight different cameras. You can have a device set up, you can pick whichever one you want and go through them all. Obviously, the only reason these aren't a very good picture at the moment is because it's probably that. Right, the light is sticking straight out. I'm going to turn this light off. It might help. There you go. So you can flip between each different camera. And obviously, you can watch this 
if you've got 3G as well. It's really easy to set up, you just see there. PTZ, so if you've got a, a camera, you can pan and tilt it around. Um, for one type of camera, for another, so for indoor, for outdoor, you can pick, pick a particular camera if you want. You can record. So that was really simple to set it up on my phone. You see yourself now, just how I did it. I just clicked to add, went into that thing, clicked it on the setting, and it's done. So it's that simple. So obviously, this is going to have to be installed. It's going to take me a couple of days because obviously it's getting dark in the evenings early. So I'll probably make a start on it this week. I'm going to upload this video. If I have any problems, I'll let you know. If you have any questions, feel free to answer. Hopefully this video has been of some help to you.